New tonight, we're learning more about a first of its kind experiment being spearheaded by an SDSU graduate student. Yeah, she's working alongside Noah to study the effect Tijuana sewage may have on local aquatic life. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen joined her at Imperial Beach for a look at the project. This San Diego State University graduate student's research thesis may change the world. For the first time, this ROV, or remotely operated vehicle, is testing the water clarity at the Tijuana River outlet in Imperial Beach. I was mostly interested in seeing how the sewage was affecting aquatic life. Stephanie Garcia partnered with the San Diego Argonauts Scale Division to make it happen. You want to fix the wires here? It took two months to engineer, design, and test the ROV before it made it into the water. Turbidity is the measure of water quality. Garcia says the ROV will continually sample and analyze the water's turbidity on an ongoing basis in different water and tidal conditions in the upcoming months. Rob Wood is the project coordinator. I think we all share the same, the same desire to make the world a better place and to try to keep as many pristine areas as this one pristine. And when we find out there's pollution that is uh, affecting places like this, then we want to do our part. He says turbid water has high concentrations of organic and inorganic materials that can carry harmful bacteria and pathogens. Uh, the Tijuana uh, sewage treatment plant, uh, it's only half of it is working. So it's uh, the other half of it, it's just, it's just putting polluted water into the ocean. And, and on top of that, a pipeline, big pipeline broke uh, just before the storms hit and, and just started pumping out a huge amount of sewage into the water. And uh, also the rains, the storms took that pollution and took it all the way up into the estuary here. So we're trying to figure out a way to, uh, to gather data so we can give it to the appropriate authorities and they in turn can use that data to negotiate a, a solution with Mexico. Garcia says it will take several months before she compiles all the data and completes her thesis. You can see the results later this summer on the SDSU website. Reporting from Imperial Beach, Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.